my name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Juggy TV. Uh, I want to talk about two of my favorite overdrives in the Kemper, uh, two that I use constantly. And you've probably noticed they're in like a million Tone Juggy profiles. Um, they're a big part of the sounds um, that I uh, get when I just play on a lot of these demos, and it's a big part of the sound John Cordy gets. He's constantly using, uh, you know, we, we denoted in the videos as stomp B and stomp C. And so I wanted to show you what those two stomps are. Now what I was just playing there was the Divided Deluxe 2 profile, which is available free. It's 100% free. It's on the Tone Junkie site. You can get it in the free pack. It's from the Deli Divided Deluxe pack. So check that out if you don't already have it. But I've got the C block on. So let's I'm going to turn that off. And the C block as I'm using it here is the shaper effect. And it's the soft shaper. And the thing to note about the soft shaper is it's not really an overdrive effect. Um, it's actually uh, doing something else. It can add soft clipping or hard clipping to an already overdriven signal. But one of the tricks I figured out is that if you put it in front uh, of the amp here, in front in the stomp section before sort of the stack, the profile itself, it pushes the amp, adds a little clipping, and any harshness as it has, um, when you run into like a clean only profile, kind of goes away. So this is an overdrive that I use for, for amps that are kind of in this gain range here, where you just have a couple lights on. To give you a reference, this, this, um, this number two profile has a gain that registers as 2.3. So check this out. Here is the um, profile um, without the soft shaper on. And it sounds like this is pretty clean, uh, but it's a low wattage, low headroom amp. So there's a, a slight bit of breakup if you really listen. Cool. Now I'm going to add the soft shaper, and it's going to come up a bit in volume. I'm, I'm boosting the front of it, and part of Part of this, uh, sort of the change of sound, is just as much boosting the profile as it is the soft shaper actually adding some soft clipping. It's really, um, to me, it's it's a super pleasant sort of almost transparent boost, um, a transparent sort of overdrive boost. It's like somewhere in the middle between a boost and adding a little bit of dirt, and that is what it's doing. It's adding a little bit of like soft clipping. Now the second overdrive that I use all the time in the Kemper, it's the one that I think you know should be in everyone's rig, whether they play a Kemper or not. Um, it's this mid-boosted Tube Screamer-esque thing. Now here it's called the Green Scream, and it's a Tube Screamer. I mean, that's exactly what it is. So again, here is that uh, Divided Deluxe uh, Clean by itself. This time I'll, I'll go to the neck position. And I will turn on slot B, and that's gonna give me my, uh, my Green Scream. you can almost cop like a strap thing but really if you put it on the bridge um, you get you know a decent like kind of a mid push overdrive <laughs> sounds like a, a, a Tube Screamer-esque thing. Uh, one of the things I like to do here is really just treat this like, um, kind of like a lead boost. So let's say I'm like just doing kind of a rhythm thing. I might come down here and...
actually gets like a real squawky kind of lead sound, which is really useful. You're fattening up usually thinner sounding pickups with this type of thing, and that's kind of what it's doing here. These P90s don't quite need the fattening help, but it still makes for a really nice mid rangey squawky lead sound. <laughs> Now for me personally, I'm a big fan of like the King of Tone and the Brown Protein Drive and uh, you know, double pedals are all the rage so I kind of view this as like a double pedal. Like I take one profile like this and when I'm playing at home a lot especially, uh, when I, maybe I just play with some jam tracks or something on YouTube, I just treat this like four sounds right here without even setting up a performance. I kind of just have my, my delay and reverb on, you know. I treat that as my clean sound. So clean sound one more time. I kind of treat this as my first stage drive, um, just like when I want a little more drive, you know? treating these two together as sort of drive, you know, three or the third sort of gain state. time that's clean a little bit of overdrive and then really go for my lead sound like this singing sustain thing. <laughs> to me, you can take one profile and, and really I just treat it like how would I approach just if this were my amp? I wouldn't be able to run through different profiles and stuff. And I think there's a lot of great sounds in there. I mean, I'm barely even using, you know, the pickups on my guitar to get different tones and stuff. But obviously on the green screen, there's a real, you know, the, the whole, uh, there's the bluesy thing that you can do, you know. And then, you know, you put on the bridge everything, everything on all at once, you know. And that sound is much more reedy. You know, you turn everything off, jump back to the, just the, or don't even turn everything off. Leave that soft shaper on and just put it on the neck and you've got really something a lot warmer that you can just. sounds. Uh, that's one of my favorite sounds. A soft shaper on just kind of a clean American-esque profile, um, you know, doing its thing is, uh, is super fun to play. I'm HW. I hope this has been helpful. Um, use those, those overdrives. I feel like a lot of times the overdrives in the Kemper get a bad rap 
because uh, there's not a million of them. But maybe we're a little too spoiled by choices sometimes. Maybe overdrives that come out with five and six modes built in um, aren't the most useful anyway. Maybe we just need one great sound. And to me, there's a couple great sounds in the soft shaper used as an overdrive in the stomp section and as the green, as, and the green screen used as an overdrive, obviously, in the stomp section. I'm HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. HW, out.